1974, 1975, Sony Trinitron KV1722. This is another basically almost mint condition set, 17 inch. We're doing this one in 4K, at least the beginning part of the video here. Here are the controls. There are two Sam's photo facts listed on this set. This one is 1975, and this one here, I'm sorry, they are both 1975. This one's February of 75. This one's November of 75. I don't know how long after the set is released that the Sam's comes out, but I'm assuming it's not right away. So, yeah, maybe 74. Just absolutely gorgeous condition. Very, very, very few blemishes in that this set. The reason the set is here is because it has a pin cushion, a geometry issue on the right side of the screen. We'll take a look at that. Let's open this up and look at the transistory goodness. Unfortunately, this is not even a vintage gamer's choice set. This is a vintage gamer's dream set. How many of these are left in this condition? Anyway, like I said, pin cushion issue. It has a pin cushion correction circuit that has some electrolytics. Hopefully we just have a bad capacitor. This set looks like it has the Nippon Kimikon. But what I've kind of learned is that you want to go after the small microfarad higher voltage capacitors like the 4.7 at 160 and 3.3 3 at 250 and 2.2 2 at 160. You want to go after those values first. And I stand corrected. This looks like it has a mixture of the the uh, blue Mashusta and the black uh, Nippon Kimikons. Which what we learned working on a few of these other sets, it doesn't really matter what cap or who made it, they go bad at this age. So this looks like from the dust, this looks like it has more hours on it than some of the other ones I've repaired. So you can definitely see the geometry pincushion issue here, the way the lines are bending. And this does have a pincushion circuit. And hopefully it's just a bad electrolytic. I, I, I would really appreciate a quick fix. I've been getting into a lot of these that are super complicated. And uh, hopefully we just have a quick bad capacitor. Yes, the whole thing should be recapped. Uh, if this was my set, especially with how strong the CRT is, you know, or if I was going to use this, if there was anything worth watching on TV, it would definitely be worth it to do a 100% electrolytic recap on this set. We're just going to fix it in this video. I see the chassis number on this is 41A-B. Uh, this SAMS is for uh, 41A-B and this SAMS is for 41A-E. So it's the February 75. Here's our pin cushion circuit. So we have uh, Pin cushion bias, we have a 47 microfarad below that. Um, pin cushion amp, 
we have a 0.47 microfarad below that and uh, 4.7 and then over here we have a thousand microfarad I'm most interested in probably these three right here this is the area right here and I gotta say this set is loaded with absolute trash soldering. These solders are so bad. I mean, somebody had a bad day. This is like, and yeah, it uses the SCR deflection, but man, this is like a nightmare soldering. This whole thing needs to be reflowed. Like every single pin on this needs to be reflowed. And all I can say is looking on this side, these capacitors absolutely just look terrifying. Like this one right here is a 2.2 at 160. I think that's that vertical one. Uh, we had a problem with an, another set. This is a 4.7 at 160. So I'm going to start by pulling that one, the blue one. This is the 4.7 and it definitely looks like it's leaked out. And you can see the crust right there. And that would be that one on the schematic. Let's test it. And it looks like it measures uh, uh, 2,352 picofarads. Yeah, I would say that one's no good. Okay, our new capacitor has been installed. Well, that corrected the geometry, but now it's like wigging out somehow. What is that? Okay, that was just the vertical hole, but look at this. Um... That's even weirder. Let me try a different capacitor. Maybe it didn't like that one. It looks to me like pincushion amplitude has been turned all the way up. That's this pot right here. I'm going to turn this sucker down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that dials it right in, doesn't it? See, I can bend it. See, I can bend it. There we go. Wow, nice and easy. It's about time for a quickie. Now, this was the only Mashusta cap on this board, except this blue one down here. All the rest of them are Nippon Kimikons. I noticed that there are two holes to hold the back on and, and I'm wondering was there actually so much thought given into longevity that they put two holes in case one wore out or one cracked or something you had another hole another female to drive into Here's what we're going to use to test the TV out. We have an Atari flashback. And the Atari flashback only has composite video and audio out. So I have that fed into the Blonder Tongue Professional Rack Mount Modulator. So once it gets a little darker out here, we'll fire this up and see what the geometry looks like on a video game <clears throat> okay and before you make 
total fun of my lack of video game skills. Keep in mind, I didn't play video games when I was a kid. I was outside doing domestic terrorist stuff. I am not a fan of video games, just to be quite honest. Uh, I think they're a complete waste of time. I guess everything in moderation is good, but, you know, my thinking would be, you know, go get some training in uh, martial arts or, uh, you know, health and fitness. You know, if you want to do ninja stuff, like, get training and do real ninja stuff, not not sit at home and live in a fake world of being a ninja like you can you can do the health and fitness and the the diet and the discipline and you can actually like be real ninja you know why why not go with the discipline okay so which one of these might i know how to play am i square here since we're doing like a geometry check i got to make sure that See, I, I don't know any of these games at all. Golf. How about that? Oh, boy. <laughs> it's like, ooh, you got this fancy high-tech TV and you're going to look at this on it? You know, I'd rather look at the uh, stupid bar generator, the, the VG91. Okay, what do I do here? I don't even know what to do. Hell if I know what I'm doing. Oh. Boy, look at that. I could I could make some commentary on that, but I won't. That's age that's age eighteen. That's age twenty five. It's age thirty five. It's age 50, and that's age 70, anyway. Uh, so what do you push next? I don't get it. Okay. Where's the reset button? Let's turn this up a little bit. We got to hear this. Oh yeah, I need to spend $800 on a vintage TV for this. Maybe. Yeah, imagine that. Uh, let's see, reset. Why does it do that? Because it's just a text overload. I don't get it. God, what a... I don't get it. 
what am I supposed to do? Right. Abort. Here we go. Here's Real Ninja. Let me adjust that up a little bit. So. So, like, what. You, I don't know how to. I don't get it. So what do I do now? This is about the time the controller gets thrown against the wall. Okay, abort. Oh, the uh, missed caller on the lower left there is because it's sitting on a speaker. So what do you do here? Maybe you have to have two players for this. I don't know. All right, abort. You know what? I think the batteries have gone dead in the controller. Let me take my phone camera here. This is a uh, this controller is uh what do you call it? Um Yep, the the batteries have gone dead in the controller. I don't think you can use the other controller. Let's see. These use uh, infrared light like a, uh, a remote control for your TV. Wow, this one's dead too. Oh well. That was about as much of that as I could take anyway. You know what? I don't know what's going on. I just pulled the batteries out and they're both at 1.5 volts. Maybe I should... Do we have a software lock up here? Okay, what are we supposed to be doing here? And you know, I, I apologize if I'm pissing anybody off. Nobody wants to hear something they, dear, they dearly love, uh, you know, put down or just not for me. There's a whole world out there. Not that virtual reality and video games are not for some people. Okay, so what did I do here? Now it's working. Yeah, the controller's wacky. There's a... Uh, there's a light on it there, and it's... Yeah, so the controllers failed. There, there, now it's working. So...
Wow. This is so much more intellectually stimulating than fixing the TV. thing like staying in focus definitely so much more stimulating than fixing the TV I have no idea I don't know what this is Something popped and failed there. I heard something. Okay, you know what? I'm done with this. Good repair. Easy repair.
needs more intoxicants. I guess that's the point, right? You gotta smoke a fatty before you dig into something this hardcore. What's what's the point? What's the point here? You gotta climb up but Oh yeah. You got you gotta climb up through this with a uh, a controller that doesn't work, huh? Freaking controller is about as responsive as a nineteen seventy nine Cadillac Eldorado. Yeah, I'm done. How about... I don't get it. What's the objective here? I mean... Yeah, the controller's like garbage. You can see why, yeah, the controller is no good. You can see why uh, people want these TVs, though. Ooh, off the wall. I'm sure I'd rather listen to the uh, 1979 Michael Jackson version than play with this, but yeah, that damn uh... So what are we supposed to do? Peasant. Peasants are cool. We're all peasants. Pretty much. Now what's the point of this? Oh, are you supposed to try and reflect the damn thing with your shield and bounce it up and hit, hit that thing at the top? See? Yeah. Alright. Not, not, not a happy situation with a controller that's a piece of junk. Maybe the control... Maybe I could fix the con... Maybe I could fix the controller. That would probably be more entertaining than this. All right, I'm done. <laughs>